In this video we will talk about African leopard. One of the eight subspecies of leopard that are now critically endangered. Before we start this video, I would appreciate if you subscribe on my channel and click the bell so you are updated on my new videos. The African leopard, with the scientific name of Panthera pardus pardus, is the nominate subspecies of the leopard, this leopard is native to many countries in Africa. They are widely distributed in most of sub-Saharan Africa, but the historical range has been fragmented in the course of habitat conversion. The characteristics of African leopard exhibits great variation in coat color, depending on location and habitat. Coat color varies from pale yellow to deep gold or tawny, and sometimes black, and is patterned with black rosettes while the head, lower limbs, and belly are spotted with solid black. Male leopards are larger, averaging 60 kg with 91 kg being the maximum weight attained by a male. Females weigh about 35 to 40 kg on average. They are sexually dimorphic and males are larger and heavier rather than females. Between 1996 and 2000, there are 11 adult leopards were radio collared on Namibian farmlands. Males weighed 37.5 to 52.3 kilograms only, and females 24 to 33.5 kilograms. The heaviest known leopard weighed about 96 kilograms, and was recorded in southwest Africa. According to Alfred Edward Pease, black leopards in North Africa were similar in size to lions. An Algerian leopard killed in 1913 was reported to have measured approximately 8 feet 10 inch, before being skinned. Leopards inhabiting the mountains of the Cape provinces appear smaller and less heavy than leopards further north. Leopards in Somalia and Ethiopia are also said to be smaller. The skull of a West African leopard specimen measured 28.6 cm in basal length, and 18.10 cm in breadth and weighed 790 grams. To compare, that of an Indian leopard measured 28 centimeters in basal length, and 20 centimeters in breadth, and weighed 1000 grams. They are inhabited a wide range of habitats within Africa, from mountainous forests to grasslands and savannas, excluding only extremely sandy desert. It is most at risk in areas of semi-desert, where scarce resources often result in conflict with nomadic farmers and their livestock. It used to occur in most of sub-Saharan Africa, occupying both rainforest and arid desert habitats. It lived in all habitats with annual rainfall above 50 mm and can penetrate areas with less than this amount of rainfall along river courses. It ranges up to 18,700 feet, has been sighted on high slopes of the Ruwenzori and Virunga volcanoes, and observed when drinking thermal water 37 degrees Celsius in the Virunga National Park. It appears to be successful at adapting to altered natural habitat and settled environments in the absence of intense persecution. It has often been recorded close to major cities. But already in the 1980s, it has become rare throughout much of West Africa. Now, it remains patchily distributed within historical limits. During surveys in 2013, it was recorded in Gbarpolo County and Bong County in Upper Guinean forests of Liberia. Leopards are rare in northern Africa. A relict population persists in the Atlas Mountains of Morocco, in forest and mountain steppe in elevations of 980 to 8,200 feet, where the climate is temperate to cold. In 2014, a leopard was killed in the elbow protected area in southeastern Egypt. This was the first sighting of a leopard in the country since the 1950s. In 2016, a leopard was recorded for the first time in a semi arid area of Yukhili in northern Ethiopia. They also have exceptional ability to adapt to changes in prey availability, and has a very broad diet. It takes small prey where large ungulates are less common. The known prey of leopards ranges from dung beetles to adult elands, which can reach 900 kilograms. In sub-Saharan Africa, at least 92 prey species have been documented in leopard scat, including rodents, birds, small and large antelopes, hyraxes, hares, and arthropods. 
leopards generally focus their hunting activity on locally abundant medium-sized ungulates in the 20 to 80 kilograms range, while opportunistically taking other prey. Average intervals between ungulate kills range from 7 to 12 to 13 days. Leopards often hide large kills in trees, a behavior for which great strength is required. There have been several observations of leopards hauling carcasses of young giraffes, estimated to weigh up to 125 kilograms, two to three times the weight of the leopard, up to 19 feet into trees.